So let's talk about BCD. So what is BCD? BCD stands for Binary Coded Decimal. So just to give you an example, because I think once you get a, a feel for what a BCD is, once you see what a BCD is, it'll be intuitive to you. So let's say we have the number 43. We wanted to write it in binary coded decimal form. That's just going to be 0, 1, 0, 0, and 0, 0, 1, 1. Each decimal number uh, has one group of binary numbers associated with it. So if we want to write 43, we just break 43 down into two groups. And so the binary coded decimal is now equal to 43 in base 10. So why would we want to do this? Well, it makes it easier to read. If you just see these two binary numbers, you can simply, you know, say the number in your head. You don't have to go through compl complicated formulas to uh, figure out what this number means. It's also easier for humans to enter these kinds of numbers in machines, uh, as it's much more difficult to, you know, enter 43 in binary um, without using some formulas. So. One of the limitations of binary coded decimal is that we can only count to 9. So if we wrote out um, 0 through 9 in binary coded decimal, 0010, 0011, 0100, 0101, 0110, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 8, 1, 0, 0, 1, 9. So, you know, we're missing a bunch of numbers here. We can actually count to 15 with four binary digits. And just as a side note, if you want to calculate how many, what's the maximum number of numbers, you take your base times your number of digits minus 1 uh, to adjust for 0. So with four digits, 2 to the 4th minus 1, we could count 15 up to 15. You know, we're missing, we're losing information here, which takes more data. So that's the primary limitation of BCD. So let's talk about um, Something simple we can do with BCD. We're going to leave subtraction and BCD for later uh, because that's a whole topic in itself. But let's talk about BCD arithmetic. You know, adding two BCD numbers. Oh, I don't know, two plus two in BCD. So let's do it. So two will write out as zero, zero, one, zero plus two. 0, 0, 1, 0, and we'll just add them up. You know, we're going to carry over, that's where that came from, and we get our answer, you know, that's equal to 3. That's equal to 4. <laughs> so, this is BCD. Let's add, let's do a two digit number now. Let's do two two digit numbers. Let's do, uh, say, 12 and 12. So, let's do 12 plus 12. So we'll do 12, let's do 12 and uh, 13. 12 and 13. So 12, write 12 out. That's just 0, 0, 1. That's the 1. And then we'll write 2 out, 0, 0, 1, 0. And then we'll put 13 down. 13 is what? Um, 0, 0, 0, 1. And then the 3 is just going to be 0, 0, 1, 1. And so we add these two together. And we get 0, we get 1, 0, 1, and here we get 0, 1, 0, 0. And this in binary is 2, uh, 5. So our answer is 25. So let's do one more example. Let's do, oh, I don't know, 9, 9, 7 plus 114. And let's solve this first. So we're at 7, uh, 10, 11. So 11, 10, 11, 10, 11. So the answer is 1,111. So let's write this out in BCD and try to solve it the same way. 
So 997, let's write 997, and let's write 114. Let's write that in BC. 0001000101010. And let's try adding those up. So we end up with 110110 carry 1101010101. And if we look at our answer, we'd end up with 10, 10, and 11. Now, unlike the last one where we could just combine these two, we can't just combine all of these numbers here. We'd end up with 10, 10, 11, which isn't the answer. So how do we combine these numbers? And the solution is first we have to identify, starting on the right side, if this is an invalid BCD code. And a valid BCD code is, um, an invalid BCD code is greater than nine. So anything after 1001 is uh, invalid. So 1010, 1011, these are all invalid. And I'm actually going to write out all the rest. 1100, 1101111, you know, all these are invalid BCD codes. Um, so what do we do? Well, we do a quick trick. And what we do is we add six. Um, to each of these invalid BCD codes and then move a carryover. So add 6, so plus 0, 1, 1, 0, and it was 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, I'm sorry, I end up with 1, 0, and then there's a 1 bit carryover here. So now what we do is we add that one to this, take that carry, push it down. So end up with 1101, which is also an invalid BCD code, so we add 6 to that. So you know the 1010, and we end up with a carryover bit of 1, and we push that over and add it up. 1101, which is also invalid, so we add 6 to this. And we have a carryover, which we're just going to keep here and write out like this. So our answer is, now we can combine these because they're all valid BCE codes. So we end up with 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. And that is our answer. As you can see, it's now the same thing as this.